in the name of my ancestors, peace forever and always. Welcome to another edition of the Realities Temple on Earth. I am the Angel Snutting Up 7 here on YouTube. Your brother and hopefully your friend, Talik Ibn Ra. Uh, I even had to jot down some notes for this subject. So please bear with me. I have a lot to cover in 10 minutes. I want to say before I get started that uh, I was listening to part of a lecture, about seven minutes worth of a lecture, uh, given by our brother, Dr. Wesley Muhammad, and he was trying to explain of how uh, Islam is an African religion. So I have some questions for Dr. Uh, Muhammad because the video that I was watching did not permit video responses so I have to make a little video myself and I think the title I might name it something to bring attention to the video but what I'm bringing has nothing personal I have nothing personal against Dr. Wesley Muhammad I don't know him so this is nothing personal this is just asking questions inquiry about what he is teaching our people so we have the right to question the Honorable Elijah Muhammad even taught us we have the right to question we have the we was taught to question Caucasian people we should also have the right to question ourselves and anything that is brought before us so let me try to cover this real quick in his lecture, Brother uh, Muhammad was saying that Prophet Muhammad, the one who inspired this book, Quran, he said that the Prophet had a dream, and in the dream, the Prophet saw black and white sheep, and the white sheep was taking over the uh, black sheep. And he translated the dream of the sheep meaning that these white or Caucasian Europeans would take over Islam and move the original, his original followers who were black or Africans, move them out the way and take over their identity. There may be some truth to that, but I have a question. If the white man is uh, let me put that this differently if the black man is the original man and he is the original author or the black man is Islam how did they become a follower of Prophet Muhammad you would think that Prophet Muhammad came up out of them but he's saying here that these people were once followers of Prophet Muhammad. So how could they be the authors of Islam if in order for them to be Muslim they had to be first followers of Prophet Muhammad who was a Caucasian person? That in itself, do you all understand where I'm coming from with this? That in itself don't make sense to me. He goes on to say that uh, Arabic or Arab means black and he used the word Al or Arab equals dark people. Arab means dark people. My question that arises here is why do black people during this period of time if you're the author of Islam and Islam is the natural religion of us, it's our nature why would we care about black? Why do we why would we care about color until the appearance the only one that gave a care about color is Caucasian people. Why would we care about color? Everybody that we knew of was black, dark. Black folks didn't trip off color. The only one who began to trip off color was Caucasian people. So Al Iraq that to me would have to be a name come up by Caucasian people or somebody who was tripping off color of people or race. 
Why would we chip off the dark people? All of us was dark. That's all that we knew. That's a question. Prophet Muhammad should have came out of the black. If, if we are the original, if we are the African Muslims, we are the original people, we was first. Prophet Muhammad came after us. That don't make sense to me. There is no proof. I work with uh, students who are taking history. So I'm not going by what I'm talking about. My own research. But I've asked students who are in school right now. Are they taught about Prophet Muhammad in history class? They said no. Prophet Muhammad is somebody taught in religion. We don't even know. You prove to me Prophet Muhammad even exists. Do, did he ever exist to begin with? So yes, there is a taking of identity. The sheep, yeah, the white sheep did take the identity of the black. Maybe that was the purpose of creating this person called Prophet Muhammad. And y'all read this book. Not by, that was uh, revealed to, to by Allah, by two black people. But it was given to Caucasian people. So if this book was given to Caucasian people or white Arabs, what do you need it for? Not to say that there's no wisdom in here or intelligence, but if you don't read it, what do you really need it for? Let us talk about Nation of Islam teachings real quick. Master Farah Muhammad, of whom you call God, he was once a follower of Noble Joe Ali. You don't like to hear that, but he was. He was also, and I was taught when I was in the nation, he was also influenced by the Jehovah Witnesses. These got white guys that created the Jehovah Witnesses. If this is God, why do God have to follow Noah Drew Ali? Why do this God have to be influenced? And if you look at the Nation of Islam teachings, you will see the Jehovah Witness influence. You will see the influence of Noah Drew Ali as well as the as Orthodox Islam influence. You will see all that. But if this is God, God creates something out of nothing but this did not come out of this did not come or this was not created out of nothing you see the influences and Sarah Sudan said my brother when he came to St. Louis show the where these things come from even the the flag it's the Turkish flag turned backwards it all came from somewhere that already existed God don't need something that already existed he creates something out of nothing You say that the app that the original Muslims was black. When did you meet them? Are you being were you taught by them? No. You are following Islam as taught by Elijah Muhammad, by that was taught by a God that was influenced by Noah Drew Ali and the Jehovah Witnesses, and you and you and your God. And wisdom comes from out of this book by a white prophet. Your God is a mulatto. He's half Caucasian, half black. Why is that? But you are supposed to uplift blackness, but your God is half Caucasian. His mother was a Caucasian. And your prophet was not black either. Prophet Muhammad was a Caucasian, correct? There's a lot of questions here that need to be answered. If Islam is the nature of the black man, then why do you have to go around the Kaaba? Why do you have to pray seven times a day if that's your nature? Why do you have to be so hard on yourself if that's your nature? And you've been doing it since 1930. That ritual, that's designed for those who don't have the nature of peace in their heart to bring them back doing those rituals in order to show them or bring them back and place them on the dark on the correct path to righteousness something that is supposed to be your nature but you do it what has happened to you why do you have to go through it why do you care about walking around the Kaaba and praying 15 times a day and all like that if that's your nature you have not progressed you have not evolved since 1930 you still need rituals to help you out. 
and if Islam, and if Islam is peace, then you show me evidence at any time in history, not your imagination, what you think. You show me with evidence any time in history of man, black people any time, that we had any kind of peace. And above all, when you practice Islam, you are practice, you are asked to believe. And if everything that you're saying is so great, you got so much confidence, then why you don't know? Why you got to believe in it? Why you don't know? If you know, you don't have to believe. Y'all, let the religion slide. Let it go. It's keeping us divided. Debating day in and out. We got greater work to do. Come, bring it to me, Brother Wesley. Bring it.